All right, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I've got another tutorial here, which is going to be about dual rendering in Black Ops 3. Or, well, what we consider dual rendering, because let's face it, we're never going to get the ghost dual rendering we had. That stuff was cool. But, anyway, it's as good as we're going to get, and this tutorial should be easy to follow and quick if you know the mod tools enough to import weapons and use a bit of Maya. So, you can see here I have the M43 scope from MW War, and you can see I have the reticle. And I have the whole model here, it's all set up, but if I hit wireframe, you can see that I have two meshes here. Uh, one is in the front, and the reticle is at the back. And what that is, is it's this kind of a stencil material that Black Ops 3 uses for um, the scopes. And I'm pretty much going to say that essentially what it does is it defines when you're, scope, when you're zoomed in, when they blur the screen for uh, sniper scopes, it's defining what does get blurred and what doesn't. So if I click on the material, it's actually very simple, you just... There's no images or anything, so where is there is? You can see pretty much these are the two settings you're going to want to mess with. It's just material category is code, and material type is set underscore stencil underscore 128, and you can just leave the surface type and it's gloss range or whatever because it doesn't matter because it's not visible in game. And if I scroll down, you can see there's no materials, there's nothing else you need to mess with. That's literally all you have to do. So if your model doesn't have that mesh, you can just literally um or doesn't have a mesh that you can use for the stencil. Like, uh, you can just come into Maya and just pretty much add it and kind of pull it up to the front, maybe the scope. And then just give it whatever material name you want. You can even kind of, you know, use the same material for all of them. But, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much all there is to it. And essentially, oof, I'm saying essentially too much. <laughs> uh, in the weapon file, you're going to want to search for, just move this out of view. You're going to search for blur. And there's these two settings you're going to want to mess with. I essentially just have them set to one, which I guess works kind of. Blur amount and blur star, you can just you know, essentially just zero to one or whatever. So there is one option, um, dual render. That doesn't actually do anything, so you don't need to take it. Just because I know probably some people saw that setting, it doesn't actually do anything, so you can just leave it. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just a model for our mesh with a material on your, um, pretty much on your gun that you can set to. So I'm just gonna go in game and test it and show you guys. Uh, back in a minute. All right, we're in game. I have the M40A3. We have uh, the normal scope, which is essentially what we should have. But if I zoom in, you can see we have blur on the surroundings and no blur in the scope. So uh, that's pretty much what we were expecting. You can kind of, you can probably zoom in a bit more with the focal settings in the weapon file to hide the fact that it's not actually true tool render and it's just literally blurring the surroundings. But I kind of like it like this. It looks cool um, at this zoom. So I might just leave it like this, but if you want, you can mess around with those. There are some other stuff you'll have to do, such as actually setting up the ADS optics to make sure it switches, which I'm not covering this tutorial because I kind of expect you to know how to use AP and add all that. And the reason you're watching this tutorial is because you added your sniper rifle scope, you know how to set it up, and you you uh, want to add dual render to it. But if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I suppose that's kind of the generics, uh, like and subscribe. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.